And one useful thing about coolant, 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 coolant. Hold on, I'll get the refractometer. This is a refractometer. I love cool little sciencey type things like this. So what you've got in here is a sight glass and it has a little piece of glass. What you do is you use this pipette to take a sample of coolant uh, from the expansion tank, drop it onto this glass, you pop this little plastic lid squeezer, I don't know what that is, slide cover on there and you hold it up to a light and look through it. And what it shows you is the freezing point of the mixture that's on there. I don't really understand how it works, but super cool. Do you need one? No. Do you look good using one? I think so. Anyway, let's use one. Let's show how this thing actually works. So we've got some red coolant here. Let's mix this 50-50 with a bit of water and see what the boiling point, or the freezing point of this mix would be. This thing doesn't tell you the boiling point, you know, as we said, that depends really on the pressure in the system. So we've got ourselves a 50-50 mix there. We take our refractometer, just grab a little bit, if we imagine that's the expansion tank, drop it onto our glass here, then pop the cover down and that squeezes the liquid underneath. And then as we hold this up to the light, in my best effort at being a pirate, we see that the freezing point, we've got three scales on here. We've got one on the left, which is for batteries. Uh, it tells you the condition of the electrolyte. One on the right, which is for windscreen washer fluid. But the one in the middle is what we're interested in. And if you look down at the bottom, you'll see that there's two uh, two different scales, one for propylene glycol, one for ethylene glycol. This is ethylene glycol, so we see on there the line going across, this light line, shows us that the freezing point is minus 40. And just to prove how that works, let's just do it again, just with a pure water. And we should see, hopefully, we do the same thing, squeeze this water underneath, we should see now that the freezing point is basically zero, right down at the bottom of the scale. That's kind of magic. Is it, I don't, as I say, I have no idea how that works, but it must work on refraction, hence the name. So that's a refractometer. Now note that what this thing is telling you is only the concentration of glycols in there. It's not telling you the condition of the coolant. It doesn't tell you anything about the corrosion inhibitors inside, and those are the things that really are deteriorating. So all this gives you an idea of is the concentration of coolant in a mixture.